teachers. When you prioritize your own salaries but offer teachers a 1% increase in theirs, you're devaluing them. When you propose contract language that would allow for teachers to be reassigned involuntarily at any point during the year, you are not only devaluing them, but you're proposing something that would have a direct negative impact on student achievement and student mental health. And nothing about that contract language is okay. So kudos to you, kudos to you for voting that down. I'm not done. <laughs> and finally, when you consistently offer your teachers a significantly lower salary than the teachers from neighboring school districts, you are devaluing them. Yes. Yes. For decades, the board has been taking advantage of your passion for this profession and your genu genuine love for your students. Even with an expired contract, you continue to put in time outside your contracted hours to help kids who need it. You attend extracurricular events because making those connections with families is your priority. You spend your own money on classroom supplies because you want to provide meaningful learning opportunities for your students. And many of you will continue working for ISC 194 because you're emotionally invested in this community and you don't want to turn your back on the connections that you've made here. However, I fear that many of you will leave. According to the Sun This Week article, 14% of EML members surveyed are planning on leaving this district at the end of the year, and 32% are already actively looking for new jobs. Is this what the board wants? Was the plan all along to flush out as many teachers as possible as a means to getting out of this financial disaster that they've gotten themselves into? Because that is also not okay. And then what? What is the plan for filling these vacated positions? High quality candidates will not be interested in working for a school district with a reputation for devaluing their teachers and paying them less. And believe me, people throughout the metro area are talking. Lakeville will become a place where mediocre teachers end up because they couldn't get a job anywhere else. <laughs> and without a strong next generation of teachers, Lakeville schools will slide into mediocrity, negatively affecting our community on multiple levels. So, if the district's negotiation team truly believes that student learning should be the primary focus of their team decision making, this round of negotiations needs to reflect that belief. No one has a greater impact on student learning than you, the educators of Lakeville.